Hey, it's Finnick Mint. I'm back with another Paleo Tour. I'm here with Quinn Estarza. Did I say that correctly? Yeah. I'm batting a thousand today. Yes, wow. you are. Look at this. Look at this. So we had toured Quinn's house. Is this the same plot that we looked at on a uh, live stream or is this a different one? Oh, it's the same plot. Oh, yeah. So this was just fantastic. First of all, I love the outfit. The outfit's fantastic. I feel overdressed. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go yeah. cute when you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. What'd you say? Oh, I, I said you gotta go cute when you can. Yeah, go cute or go home. And you're already home, right. so. <laughs> you're my tour guide, Quinn, where we're going. Well, if you want, we can uh, head over to the right. I'm following you. You're the professional. Okay. I'm just a tourist. I love, I love, I remember from the tour, like, I'm, I, I love, like, the the pillars here that you set up with the flowers and the, uh, the capital chic bookcases. Like, that's a really cool way to anchor the, the front of your plot. Yeah, when I, we first got the blocks, I, uh, discovered that you could actually go past the line with them, and I was like, no way. Oh, yeah, that's right. So That's the front right. blocks are actually past the, the line. Ooh. I'm kind of curious how people are going to be using that in the future, for sure. <laughs> oh, I got something for you over here, then. All righty. I love the, your you flowers, ask. too. I'm just, oh, I'm, thank you. I get distracted by the most beautiful things, so... Oh, that's what I love about this plot. And yes, I am at flower capped. Oh, yeah. So I decided to try my hand at making a uh, dance floor. I love this dance floor. I love this dance floor. That's really cool. And open bar, get whatever you want to drink. Tea, coffee. Something stronger. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I also like the the your tree work here, just kind of putting the trees inside those archways like that's that to me kind of takes a lot of uh, mm, willpower. <laughs> I wanted to make it look full without doing too much to my item limit. And yeah. I decided to make a fishing pier over here. Let's go check it out. I love how it's all connected to just that one square. That is really interesting. Yeah. The kind of things that people have been coming up with on their plots, especially with these building blocks. Oh, man. I love how you did the patterns of the, the pavers in this corner here with the seating area. That's nice. That's really nice. Well, you have to put a little bit of a heat sink from the fire pit. You don't want it to burn down the fishing pier. Yeah, that's, see, yeah, that's perfect. I love this fishing pier. I especially love, like, people have just taken the concept of once they figured out how to. Oh, I like this. Sorry, I'm like mid-sentence. I love that you made this. You got the milk jug and you got the, the paver on top of it. That's so cool. But I love how people have taken this concept and you totally made it practical. Like you made it all the way out here and rightfully so it hugs the wall. That's really clever. Uh, I love how like in Bahari, the, the piers have extra wood, like they kind of slap sticked it together. So yeah. I thought that looked really cool for my peer. It's like humans came back after 10,000 years and they had to throw some things together. Almost like they didn't know how to do construction before with the humans gone. Right? <laughs> I didn't get a chance to do a whole lot back here. It always I gives you a chance to, to do something thousand. in the future. Yeah, but I, I made a nice little break room. 
Oh, I love this. I like how everybody's, you know, I don't think this is kind of one of those, I guess, hot topics that, uh, that people contest uh, about Paleo. I don't feel like Paleo is a cozy game, except when it comes to your plot. Just all the <laughs> the cozy natures and stuff, and, and especially with your decorations, you've taken that concept and you made nice little seating areas and stuff like that. That's that's really awesome. Yeah, but to me, that's what it makes it cozy. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like you you make it you make it cozy yourself. I'm so following this is you. Sure, this is technically the my harvest house. But the oh. way I wanted the front to look, I needed it to be over here. All right. So, and what you're about to see in there is actually something that I pulled from another plot that I'm working on. Oh, yeah. I remember this. This, this was like one of the most ingenious things that I'd ever seen. How you did like the masonry on the bottom the industrial bookshelves it looks like the lights yeah this is just so so clever and then you have this little nook back here with books and yeah this is incredible i don't think i've ever seen is that that must be a a late like a late relationship thing the Cernic oh. on the top. Oh, yeah. That, uh, yeah, spoiler alert, that's from Ashura. Oh, nice. Nice. I think level five. Sweet. And then uh, we can, got my little uh, boudoir area, I suppose. If I, I would ever always like how people, like, decorate their transition spaces. It's kind of what I was talking about, like... This here, just you walk past it and, you know, hallways can just sometimes just be a vehicle to get from one room to another. But the fact that you took the time to decorate that, I love how open this is. Mm -hmm. That hallway and uh, you'll see uh, it's matching buddy on the other side are from an old build that I did. And I just didn't have the heart to break those down because I love them so much. Yeah. I honestly wanted to do so much more with these rooms, but this was the last side of my build that I was working on, and I hit cap, like, real early on in this part. So I started pulling bits and pieces so I can actually make it look decent. No, this, like this is really nice. You know, sometimes when it comes to designs like these, it doesn't have to be incredibly full. You can have lots of open space and... You know, there's there's designs that make you go ooh, and there's designs that make you go ah, and this is like this is like a nice relaxing space. I agree. It it's really nice for me because it's not as cluttered as my head. <laughs> yeah, this is this is like your your spa area. It's like zen, you know. Mm -hmm. Not a doom closet like my house. <laughs> 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 Doom closet. That's hilarious. Yeah, ADHD I, speak. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I speak the language. <laughs> I just wanted to take another look at these, uh, these vases and kind of how you laid them out here in this room. It just, it may, gives them, gives them the nice like sacred feel to them. Just wanted oh, to appreciate yeah. that before we continue on. Yeah, I didn't feel this room needed a whole lot. No, it's. It's nice and majestic as it is. Yeah. All righty. So this if you courtyard. want to continue on, that's my courtyard. Nice. I like the the so those of you who are enjoying this so far, don't forget to give the the go thumbs up, give it a like. But also just I wanted to point out like I really like how you paired the wallpaper and the flooring 
And it's kind of neat. The courtyard, you can, you have different, you know, it's a modular in a sense, but sometimes it's nice just to have like a nice open section. And then uh, over here, you got sort of the, the paper walls. That's a really nice touch. Oh. Yeah, we didn't come in. Yeah, that's the front. <laughs> wow. No, we didn't come in through the front. No. That's. Okay. All right. All right, all right. I'll we get, I'll get so around. lost. We'll make a walk yeah, around. All right, we can make cool. a walk around. This is, this is just like a grand entrance. I, I love one of the things like to keep in mind, if you are not sure about what to design or how to design, like this is just, this whole frame here is just incredible. And when you take something that if you were to come around, okay. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say, like, if you were to come in straight, you're obviously stopped. So you got to go left or right. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Quinn has created like these pathways, these really beautiful pathways that come to a central point. And then you have this courtyard that takes you all over the place, like anywhere you want to go. But it's such a neat design tip, I guess, to kind of terminate where people are going. Like when you walk into a room, put something right smack dab in the middle of the room to make people walk around it and look around. Like it's a it's a nice little thing. This is very well done. Very well yeah, done. Make people look around yet make it functional. Yes. And you don't have to have a lot of stuff in your courtyard too. Sometimes just simple and pretty is best. This uh the bonsai tree. Zen. Yeah, I like to just come in here and sit and relax for a bit. I love that too. I I love the fact that you can you can do that in Paleo, you know? Like you can create a space for you to relax. That's super cool. Yeah. And before you ask, this will probably be where I want to do my Q&A. Okay. That sounds perfect. All right, on to the kitchen. On to the kitchen, following you. It's simple and functional, and it's the way I like it. And yes, it's a working kitchen. Yes. You get it. You get it. And the choppers had a little bit of fun in the kitchen. Made this little spiral with the plates. I think that those kind of applications are super, super creative and fun. Like, when you take... You're taking, like, the plates or the pavers, and you make, you make something completely not in the game. I feel like these videos that I've I've been creating, they serve a purpose, show offing like showing off beautiful things, but at the same time I think that they also give Singularity Six some ideas as to what people are how people are applying the items in game. And, and I think that gives them ideas like, you know, on how to how to create some new things. This here, simple yet effective. It's freaking barn doors. Like, come on now. <laughs> you don't need the first thing I did with my blocks. Yeah, you don't need internal doors. Make your own doors. You know, make your yeah. own doors. Yeah, the opening and closing doors kind of gets annoying. They, they, yeah, they can, they can kind of, especially the sound, if you got the sound on. I love this area. Is this kind of like a, like a side picnic it, area or pantry? Well, it, it's meant to be the pantry. Mm. I really want the jams to be able to be displayed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let yeah. us display our preserves. Come on, S6. I know, I know. That's really, that's a really cool idea. We want to yeah, be able to fun. display the fruits of our labor, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is because we love to do tea parties. Yes. I I always think that this is just so fascinating how people decorate their tables, too, with the, the place settings and everything. Like, it, it's so yeah. fancy. I could never, I could never. I don't even know where to start. I have to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> I could teach you. That's cool. That's cool. Now, if you want to see something a, a little less elegant, follow me. I'm following you. 
Did we cover this room over here? We haven't covered uh, this yes, side. Yes, but I... <laughs> I figured we'd hit that on the way out. Okay, all right, cool. Get out of the mud room. Yeah, yeah, I'll get out of the mud room. Go that way. Okay, you got it. Oh, you lied to me. This is this is more elegant. What? Rustic. It's cool though. It. It's cool though. I love how you put this together, especially with the torches, the the lighting. Oh, oh and the fire is so much louder in here than it is through my normal speakers. <laughs> Oh, that's all good. I I typically play with sounds off, but I like uh I like you to be the focus. Oh. And I got my very first Cernot plushie. Isn't it that it doesn't like... feel so good like there's some things that yeah. are that are rare and there's some things that are not so much, but like when you do get something that's rare and you know you worked for it, like it's a great feeling. Yeah, it is. I love how the the plushies they they just they'll bring an area to life. Like they they can uh, enable you to tell a story. Like there's something more than just an empty couch or bench to look at. Yes, yes. I mean, you can't put people there. Might as well put plushies. Absolutely. Yeah. And pretty much all my star stones are in here. Yeah, you got quite the horde. It's pretty nice. Yes. Everybody should have a horde. Absolutely. You did the thing, you should display the stuff. Yeah. I especially love how I got my uh, stoves uh, in uh, the fireplace over there. It looks really awesome. Oh, yeah, that's a, that is a really nice touch. That's a really nice touch. All right, now you can go in the mud room. Now I can go in the mud room. Nice. This is a, a nice mud room, though. You're being stared at, though, through the window. Yeah. Everywhere I go, Frogbert follows me around, so it's all good. He's jealous. He wants in so bad. <laughs> Just giving you that, please let me in, look. When it's cold outside, I'm cold outside, so let the Frogbert in. <laughs> Oh man, your your design work really is really is something else. It's all about the little things. Just how you bunch the flowers together and nice little corners. Like it makes it feel very natural, just kind of how you how you and how and where you put them. And when I mentioned before, this is an apple pie farm because it's just apples and wheat and some blueberries. You got the right ratios, then that's awesome. And of yeah. course, got to keep keep it pretty with the uh, the flowers. Yeah. I love the stepping stones up to the uh, up to the seating areas. That's a really nice touch. Yeah. So I figured we could go look at the back and before we uh, move up to the front again. Okay, following you. You know, weed the area in hopes that it would look nice before the tour and then the day shifts. <laughs> no, it's all good. It happens. <laughs> and, oh. You know, the typical put your workplaces underneath the pavilions. It looks awesome. It works. It does. It does look awesome. And it does work. But, you know, despite saying that, right, everybody, everybody has different applications of it. Sometimes people put their workstations of underneath the pavilion sometimes they put them in tents sometimes they put them in their house like there's so many different ways that you can do it it does it does kind of it is nice though when you have them underneath the pavilion especially with the fan and the uh the industrial looking paltec stuff that just it feels mm, practical in a sense you know you got lots yes. of ventilation and like things happen here, you know? Absolutely. And a beautiful exit to send you off to Bahari. Absolutely. If you're going to exit to Bahari, you might as well do it in style. And I like, I, I hope everybody has, was, 
hope everybody's been paying attention to all the different tiles and everything, the flooring patterns, because if you don't pay attention, like you'll miss out on it. It just, it works so well how you have everything colored and styled. Like it just looks like it was there all along, you know, and that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's what you want. That's so cool. Well, I'm so happy they fixed the glitch to where you couldn't walk through the flat certain flowers. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Following you, Quinn, where shall we go? Oh, okay. We can head back this way and go past the, the garden. Oh yeah. I love like the retaining wall look that you got here, the flowers, the fountains. There's just a lot to take in. And I just I love how you incorporated the flower patterns around these pavilions. And I can kind of tell yeah. like where you're going with it, but you really just have such good planning with these spaces. Well, I figured the flowers needed to look like a uh, fire going around this pavilion. I just, I, I also love just kind of how you have these archways, the flowers, the fire. That's also a really nice touch. And I saw something similar. In the front, yes. Yeah. On the other side over here. Mm -hmm. Is this just kind of like how you're marking the edge of your property, like the corner? Because yeah, that is. I, uh, this that's was really my original cool. uh, uh, fence bordering that I had. And when nice. I decided to redo the property, I, I kept some. That's a really nice touch. It's a really nice touch. It helps remind me uh, how far I can go and where I need to stop. Yeah. In a pretty way. That's Ooh. really cool. I don't know if you noticed, but the flowers are done in rainbow. Oh, yes. Yes. That's really cool. I've been uh, heavily inspired by a lot of your uh, Paleo tour guides. And... I especially love how it allowed me to continue to stay colorful and just add so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they definitely bring their A game, their B game, and their C game <laughs> all at once. It's really cool how people have made friends through, through that space in our Discord. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm really hoping that the plot I'm working on right now will be uh, ready for the next speed tours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be, we'll be ready. We'll be ready when you are. It'll be unique. And here's one uh, spot that you might like. Gotta keep it low. I love keeping it low. Those are always super fun areas because it just it's immersive this way, you know? Yes. And now we're getting right into tail uh, like high noon, so you can see that. The property just comes to life in a different way, like there's always look at your house in different lighting, you know? Yes. Yeah. And I love how it, it seems even how much brighter it seems over here. The trees, I, know. I was worried that they would cause uh, too much shade, but it seems to work out really well. It does. It does. And that you could actually see through the courtyard to the back. Sort of. <laughs> no, I, I, I can see that. Like, there are some, some aspects, like when we tur turn this way and look down here, some aspects, you have sight lines. And then there's some aspects where... You want those sight lines to be terminated in a way. Yeah, no, I get oh, it. Oh yeah, I get it. Like when you come in from uh, the main harvest house, you could see the fireplace in uh, the dining room. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Q and A time. Let's get the deets.
So one of the first things I like to do, like for the beginning of Q and A time, is just kind of go over all the all the things that I really enjoyed about about your plot. And I think that your use of flowers is just incredible. Um, you know how around your gazebo you had them decorated in in like a rainbow style. You also had uh, just little pockets of very nicely paired flowers in in different places, and those kind of things, like those little details, they really add to the overall feel because uh, it, it feels like you had you'd gotten out there with the gardening tools and everything. You're just like very meticulously. These are the flowers that I, I want to go here. And that's not even the whole picture, right? That's just part of the picture because we also had. Uh, the various rooms and stuff that you decorated, uh, the colors that you chose. And let's not forget the massive, amazing entryway, like everything from the moment that you walk into, you know, to the courtyard, to all the way to the left, all the way to the right, like you have just created this, this wonderful space that's colorful, it's relaxing, it's zen, and... And, you know, I've seen lots of different implementations of, you know, the the fishing pier. I think yours happened to be, you know, one of the the most practical, like it felt it felt like that would be, you know, actual part of the part of the plot. So that's just, you know, that, that and, and I don't even I could never cover everything. But, you know, those are just kind of the the glimpses, the things that I, I especially appreciated. I think probably my first question would be. Given the history of Pelea, given the lore, right? Where do you think the story is going to go from here? Well, I like that uh, the new uh, friendship quests that have come out are starting to blend the characters together to give it more of a give them more depth uh, right. to uh, align with. Uh, where we're going. I think we're still doing character development and setting up where the story's going. But that's a good point. Yeah. I mean, we are technically still in open beta and there's going to be more things added to the game. We don't know how many updates will be happening before the game is considered released, but I think that's a really good point that you pointed out, you know, that we are still building the characters. We're still building the story. It doesn't end at, you know, level four for many characters. Well, uh, the first level five care, uh, quests that came in are what Zeki, Tish, and Reth, and not to give any spoilers, but they all work together, and oh. they actually their stories come together, and uh, you see it like with uh, Sifu as well, Sifu mm -hmm. and Hasian. Uh, the stories are building and coming together. Uh, kind of like a prequel to a, like a big Lord of the Rings type of adventure that's about to happen. And I think that will be when we get to the Elder Woods. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, that's a really good point. That's a really good point. My next question is centered around design. So you mentioned that you had reached cap and you got to a point where you had to prioritize things. What in your mind are the first things that have to go? Uh, the first things that went were the the pretty stone border that was in my my farm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel that. Uh, I refuse to lower my uh, my flower cap to make room for adding anything, but we got to remember that the tiny little details of those fencings, each thing is an item. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that is really true. Those tiny little bits is what ended up going and making enough space. And um, the pavers that I had in the, the dance floor bar area was a lot more dense than what it is now. Mm -hmm. So doing those little things is what made it uh, to where I could just have enough books to make it look like a bookshelf. Just have it to where I could put a few of the the characters things with uh, their pictures yeah you know. yeah yeah no i totally get that i totally get that just one more stuffy <laughs> yeah one more 
That's all we need. Just one more. Just one I more. I feel like uh, Singularity 6 is totally going to be... Uh, I want to just kind of make this prediction overcompensating. I think we're going to get way more plushies now that we'll know what to do with. But people love plushies, so that'll be cool. Hey, it gets them playing because the drop rate is so low. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. So I think my, my last question is going to be around inspiration you mentioned earlier that you know you you got inspiration from some paleon tour guides i think that in a way your your design you know is uh is is kind of like music right we have this design language of paleo where we we take the notes these different items and we arrange them in a way that just it, it creates kind of a design music do you have any uh people like off the top of your head that that influenced you like that kind of drove some of your design decisions oh man uh name dropping is the one of the worst things that my memory refuses to let me have that's okay uh, i, I, I want to say some of velociraptors and the nebula and i hope i'm saying her name right it, yeah Denebola. just to name a couple yeah yeah they're they are really they're really inspirational people um that that have some incredible designs for but sure on one hand Vel has a bit more of a clutter core vibe to me and i think you i wasn't sure i liked the idea of what you said originally that i'm clean core but <laughs> yeah, i was like little does he know it's only this clean because i'm i'm capped <laughs> but the more I got used to what you said and uh, looking how I got it all done, and I was like, you know what? I'm actually quite happy with this. It doesn't have to have a lot in order for it to speak what I'm trying to to say. Right. And like for my bedroom area, I wanted to. I like having choices. I like having open space. Uh, I like having it to where I can I could see things that just make me happy. Yes. And it not being cluttered makes me happy. <laughs> yes. So I, I've embraced what you what you gave me and I, I'm I'm good with it. That's good. You know, I and going through the house again, you know, I, I feel reaffirmed about about saying that it's clean core because you know although there are some pockets uh here and there where you have uh flowers grouped together and you know you kind of create these little combinations right they are very controlled they're very controlled and uh and i still feel like when you are looking down your sight lines everything just kind of feels very very well executed very precise uh whereas with someone who would be i would consider clutter core it's a lot to look at and it kind of it consider it smaller brush strokes <laughs> right whereas like clean core they're they're longer brush strokes like they are there's there's lots i'm just like i'm visualizing your walkways right now you know how you go off to the left or the right you just have like this long sight line and you have all of these different parts that just kind of guide you along the way in a, in a very gentle manner and lots of you know little flowers and, and everything to look at it's it's very pleasant and then you have your your dock that is just it's just relaxing you know and i think that I still feel I still stand by my decision. <laughs> and I agree with you now. So. I think that's fantastic. I think that's fantastic. Well, Quinn, thank you so much. I want to give a, a personal shout out to Quinn, who is a, a senior delegate member of my channel. And they they are able to able to have a tour right now because uh, senior delegates, they get priority tours, uh, both as a speed tour and as a full tour so i'm booked out all the way to october nobody else can sign up right now 
but Quinn, you're the first person that uh that got to jump the line. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was right. I'm also your first senior delegate. That's right. A lot of firsts today. <laughs> I was really shocked. I'm like, no way, I'm the first one. Come on. Yeah, guys. there's always gonna be a first, which is it's cool. And I, I really appreciate uh you being a part of the community and you know all of your all all of your wonderful contributions too. It's it's been great. It's been great. Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate the community. It's it's very welcoming and all always full of uh, the ideas and surprises. Definitely, yeah. All right, everybody. I will catch you all for the next one. Until next time, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what was your favorite part. And take care. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.